In this lecture, we will discuss section 12.6 Cylinders and Quadric Surfaces. Suppose we need to sketch the surface z equals to y squared in three dimension. So this one look like this. So first sketch y equal to x square. So y equal to x square is a parabola in two dimension. So in three dimension, this would be this type of surface where this is x axis and this is y axis and this is z axis okay so in x y z plane this would be a surface now next step would be replace this x by y so replace this x by y and this y by z so this y by z so this is y axis this is z axis and remaining would be the x axis so we will get this type of surface this type of surface to sketch the graph it looks like y equal to e to the power x so on two dimension the graph of y equal to e to the power x is look like this so suppose this is x axis and this is y axis so in three dimension the graph of this would be like this where this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis now next step would be replace this x by y so this x by y and y by z so this y by z so we have this y axis z axis and it would be remaining x axis so we will get this type of surface in this example, we need to sketch the plane twice x plus 3y plus z equal to 6 that is in the first octant. First octant means all of x, y, z value would be positive. At x intercept, y and z equal to 0. So if you set y and z equal to 0 here, then you will get x equals to 3. So we get a point 3, 0, 0. So, 3, 0, 0. On y intercept, set x equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, if you set x equal to 0 and z equal to 0, you will get y equals to 2. So, we have a point 0, 2, 0. 0, 2, 0. And similarly, on z intercept, set x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So, if you set x and y equal to 0 here, you will get z equal to 6. So, we have a point 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 6. Now, add those point by straight line, then you will get a plane, this type of plane. Now, you need to remember some shape, like equation of circle is x square plus y square equal to a square. So, this circle center at 0, 0 and radius is A. Equation of ellipse, this one. And equation of hyperbola. So, for ellipse, we have positive sign here. And hyperbola, there is a negative sign here. And this is equation of parabola. Now, in two dimension, we normally call ellipse. But in three dimension, it becomes ellipsoid. So, we need to sketch the surface 4x square plus 4y square plus z square equal to 16. So, on the xy plane, set z equal to 0. So, if you set z equal to 0, you will get x square plus y square equals to 4. So, this one is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2. So, this is a circle center 0 0 and radius 2 and it is on the xy plane now on the yz plane set x equal to 0 so if you set x equal to 0 here you will get this equation and this is equation of an ellipse it will go 2 units along y axis and 4 units along z axis so this is an ellipse of this one so it will go 2 units along y axis and 4 units along z axis. 
finally on the xz plane set y equal to 0 and you will get this ellipse so it will go 2 units along x axis so 2 units along x axis so here and 4 units along z axis 4 units along z axis okay. so if you add them then you will get this type of shape this type of shape now we need to sketch the surface z equal to x square plus y square so on the x y trace set z equal to 0 if z equal to 0 then x square plus y, equal, y square equals to 0 and this would be true if and only if both x and y is 0 so x y and z is 0 and we got a point 0 0 0 so this point 0 0 0 and on the yz plane set x equal to 0 and you will get z equals to y square so this is a parabola it looks like this parabola so it graph would be this one and finally on the xz plane set y equal to 0 then you will get z equal to x square so this is also a parabola so it would be the magenta color parabola and if you set z equals to 4 then this becomes x square plus y square equals to 4 so this is equation of a circle so it represent a circle with radius 2 so if you add those you will get this type of shape In this example, we need to sketch the surface y equal to x square plus z square. So on the x y plane set z equal to 0 and we will get y equal to x square. This equation of a parabola. So y equal to x square, this pink color parabola. And on y z trace set x equal to 0 then we will get y equal to z square and this also a parabola so this type of parabola blue color and for x z trace set y equal to 0 and you will get a point 0 0 0 so this point 0 0 0 and if you set y equals to 4 here then it becomes x square plus z square equals to 4 so this is equation of a circle with radius 2 so we will get this circle so if you add them then you will get this type of figure three dimensional figure now we need to sketch the surface z square equals to x square plus y square where z is more than or equal to 0 so on the x y plane set z equal to 0 then you will get a point 0 0 0 so this point 0 0 0 and on the yz trace or yz plane set x equal to 0 then you will get z equals to y so this is z equals to y and on the for xz trace set y equal to 0 and you will get z equals to x so this magenta color z equals to x and finally if you set z equals to 2 then it becomes equation of a circle with radius 2 so this is a circle with radius 2 so you will get this type of cone now for this example we need to sketch the surface x square plus y square minus z square equals to 1 so as before for x y trace set z equal to 0 then we will get a circle with radius 1 so we will get this circle now for yz trace set x equal to 0 then we will get a hyperbola so this type of hyperbola and for xz trace set y equal to 0 and we will get this hyperbola so this type of hyperbola this magenta color 
and if you take any value of z suppose z equals to plus minus 2 then if you plug here then it becomes equation of a circle with radius square root of 5 so this is equation of a circle with radius square root of 5 so you will get this type of figure now we need to draw this surface so similarly for x y trace set z equal to 0 then x square plus y square equals to negative 1 and this one doesn't have any real solution that means the surface will not touch this x y plane now for y z plane set x equal to 0 then you will get this equation which is a hyperbola so you will get this hyperbola blue color hyperbola now for x z trace set y equal to 0 then you will get this hyperbola so this magenta color hyperbola and if you set z equals to plus minus square root of 5 then it becomes equation of a circle with radius 2 so this is a circle with radius 2 so you will get this type of figure now for this example we need to sketch the surface z equals to y square minus x square so on the x y plane set z equals to 0 then we got y equal to absolute value of x so we will get this type of line now for y z trace set x equal to 0 then we will get this parabola so we will get this magenta color parabola now for x z trace set y equal to 0 then we will get z equals to negative x square it's also a parabola so z equals to negative x square this parabola and if you set z equals to 1 you will get this equation and if you set z equals to negative 1 you will get this hyperbola now if you add them together you will get this type of surface in this example we need to sketch the solid bounded by the surface z equals to x square plus y square and z equals to 2 minus x square minus y square we already learned how to sketch this one it it was here z equals to x square plus y square so this one shape would be this type now to sketch this one on the xy plane set z equal to 0 then it becomes a circle with radius square root of 2 so this is a circle with radius square root of 2 and on the yz plane set x equal to 0 then it becomes a parabola so this becomes a parabola and on the xz plane set y equal to 0 then we also get a parabola this magenta color parabola and if you set z equals to negative 2 then it becomes x square plus y square equal to 4 so this is the circle you can also draw this graph in using this concept so if z equals to x square plus y square shape is this type then z equals to negative x square negative y square shape will flip so if positive x square positive y square then its shape is this type but if negative y square negative x square then it will flip and shape would be this type now when x and y is 0 then z is 2 so this graph will shift 2 units along positive z axis and you will also get the same graph same graph now to find the curve of intersection equate both equation and you will get x square plus y square equals to 1 and z equals to 1 that means at intersecting point it would be a circle with radius 1 and it the distance from x y plane is 1 so it will intersect here and at intersecting point this is a circle at intersecting point it's a circle and distance from x y plane 
this distance is z equals to 1. That's it for today's class. We'll discuss more on next class. Thanks.